Well, always, it's always a pleasure to meet old friends from Gibraltar, and they are old friends. Uh, the time I was in Gibraltar, as you remember, was the time when the British government was negotiating with the Spanish government. And although I didn't say so publicly at the time, I thought the British government were doing it the wrong way. Uh, but I couldn't say so publicly in Gibraltar, and that made life really quite difficult. Uh, so it's very good to hear, first of all, that there's a good relationship between the government of Gibraltar and the British government, and that there's a workable relationship of some sort, at any rate, between the government of Gibraltar and the Spanish government. So that's very encouraging. Uh, well, like you say, well, you were governor during some difficult times, and these are difficult times once again. What advice would you give your, su your uh, successors yeah. as governors in the future? Well, Brexit obviously is a very difficult time. It's a difficult time for Britain and it's a difficult time for Gibraltar. And I think that all that anybody can do from Gibraltar is to work quietly to ensure that there are workable uh, plans for the future which will deal with any eventuality and from what I hear there are workable plans they won't necessarily be easy to put into effect but you've just got to go on working at them be patient be sensible uh, and also be upstanding not not needlessly to give way what do you take away from this particular edition of Gibraltar Day in London well it's it's very good as always uh, the, I think that the clear relationship between the commerce in the city and Gibraltar is demonstrated by this evening uh, and that is something which has got to be worked on. I did think that the uh, figures which uh, the Chief Minister gave about the growth in the Gibraltar economy were very, very impressive and I hope that that is, will be able to continue in future despite or maybe even because of Brexit.